Welcome. Welcome back. And welcome home, Super Rockstar Seeds. Welcome home. My name is Melissa Brace, and I will be your multi-density cosmic tour guide today. We are going to do a real quick star seed update reading and check in with the energies. And the first thing that I was been feeling lately is that we're kind of like returning to ourselves and regaining our wings. So if you've been achy or anything's going on, exhaustion, things like that, there's just take the time to rest, drink lots of water. We're having lots of solar energies come in and magnetic energy shifts. And what's going on in an overall view is we're coming out further and further out of that quarantine space that the earth has been in. So take it easy and take a minute because it'll take us a minute, all of us, to stay stable in that this new light universe that we're not quite used to in these dense bodies. And all of these layers of who we are are being super scrubbed clean from a lot of the distortion. So this is a beautiful glorious, wondrous thing that's happening. So in the energies right now, very strongly feel like angel wings on our backs being put back. So over time, many of the divine feminines were stripped of their gifts, powers, wings, truth, and their divinity. So in some ways it wasn't their fault. It was part of the isolation, separation, imprisonment here, karmic cycles with these dark things hunting them in energetic form and through people. And so these these things have been pushed back and there's a time where many of you will be receiving connection with your angel wings again. And that also can be part of your, imagine angel wings on a movie, on, on beings just big and there's sometimes different shapes and different ways. Imagine if those had different frequencies and activations in them that made you who you are. So if, you know, your back's been hurting, it might be that your angel wings are being put back in place. So I'm also getting a lot of, of halo adjustments. And, you know, anyone that's been under spiritual attack now, last week, yesterday, some of those crown chakra spiritual attacks have been happening really strongly. So it's almost like the last stance of the darker energies coming towards your pineal gland and third eye and crown chakra to just keep you blinded and in a state of overthinking and fear things like this panic anxiety not being able to sleep those kinds of things and these are being cleared out of the, out of the collective bit by bit piece by piece if you ask for help from god source creator you will have extra help so everyone is safer than they know is what I'm receiving. And I'm going to pull a card or two to see what's going on. What else I'm supposed to say? The Divine Feminine in particular has been under duress. And it feels like the Divine Masculine. So the Masculine Divinity in each of us and our Christed sacred union inside, as well as if you have a person, soulmate, a twin flame, twin soul, especially the twin souls, they can, you know, feel each other at all times. It's not their fault. Uh-huh. Nice. But the divine feminine has been under, it's almost like scrutiny or squishing and expanding. And the divine feminine's just like ready, okay, focused on a direction that they're supposed to be focused on. The card, first card I pulled is Heart Ascension, Heart of Ascension. So that would be the Cosmic Heart that Kurt Cobain always talks about in all of the channelings. And this is a number three card, Expansion, Love for All, Playfulness, and Release of the Past. I know in my own shadow work and my own work, I'm certainly working on release of the past, the past lives, the timelines, the different wounds, traumas, and I know most of us are in some way. It might not look the same for everyone, but most of us are. So in that heart of ascension, we are called to remember that we have done this before. Most of us have done this before. The star seeds, the waves of volunteers, the earth angels, the indigos came here and we've done this before in different places and spaces. And so this is a big one. 
we're bringing back all of the awakening and healing of many layers, many templates and civilizations of the past. So this is the big one. And all of the universe is watching us and really excited about our heart of ascension as we keep releasing and cleansing and clearing some of the old and some of the past. We will remember and wake up into the space where we are very strongly capable of manifesting, creating with God, source, a new reality and these new layers and pieces of wholeness. So I'm also getting something in the energy that the, the finances, the, the systems, financial systems are changing. And so there is going to be some shifts, banking kinds of things, loans, all that kind of stuff coming up, shifting. And there's something about it that's going to force us to come into a recognition or understanding where it's not just for some people, it's for everybody. There's plenty for all. We've forgotten this. It's something that we are going to remember as we remember our soul's truths and come into that Christed energy. Heart of Ascension. I've been using that word expansion a lot, and that's definitely what this is saying. And it's a number three card, which I always say is the, as above, Holy Trinity. Some of our belief systems are going to continue to shift and change and grow. And that's really good because that's how, you know, cleansing and clearing. And we will expand together and remember more and more who we are and how, how we became who we are. And some of us will have memories of from the beginning of time to the beginning of time and back as well as before that different aspects of who we are different ways that we have lived in this universe some of you are actual stars star seed okay what else can we know ah oh, star children i was just talking about that earlier remember the star children are christed beings much further along than most of us are and have been. And to me, it feels like this is, look at this sacred union, whether it's your twin flame, this would be twin flame, twin souls, opening up in that sacred heart, like the lotus flower. And these beautiful children have that golden energy, that unconditional love that we seem to not understand very well in our physical body yet. So it feels like that they're born without the veil, born without as much distortion for sure than the elders of us have, have had or have. And they will understand how things work. And it'll be illogical the way that we have lived the systems, the way we have lived in the past. So some advanced, beautiful children are coming in. I love that part. That makes me happy. Gifted, very gifted old souls coming in. Okay, so the next card I'm receiving is Earth Angel. So it doesn't really matter what definition we use today for any of us. The Earth Angels are, are I'm feeling it so strongly again. The wings are being restored and we have these different layers of who we are. It's being restored. We are being restored in our light form, our light bodies. And that means mind, body, spirit, soul, our higher selves are being connected into us as never before. So here on earth, we are coming home and awakening, 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 and ascending as much as possible as we step forward into this new earth energy. Super cool era. See what the Earth Angel card says. The Earth Angel. You know what? This kind of looks like this angelic being that I used to see when I was a little child. Except she had more red in her hair and different colors. And there's this blue, blue beam, not blue beam, blue ray energy here with her. So I really love this. Kindness. Sensitivity is strength. Higher perspective, divine abilities. So our spiritual abilities are coming in in stronger ways where we are responsible and more 
balance. We we're talking about connecting with those who are in spirit crossed over or having ESP, telepathy, spiritual abilities, connecting with God, knowing, seeing, hearing, feeling, teleportation, and what I call divine magic. So that Christ did energy is forever only what I'm calling divine magic. So that Christ did energy, divine masculine and feminine, the marriage of Christ in us, I call it the return of Christ all the time, is helping us in our spiritual abilities and awareness, awakening, and remembering who we are. Angel wings coming back to many of us. See what other one we got. Cosmic circles. It's a gorgeous card. Super cosmic right there. Let's call that some groovy energies and groovy galaxies. Actually, the skies are really amped up with some stuff. I was outside earlier and I saw a formation yesterday and I thought, this is, it looks like a triangle in the sky, just a little bit like this. And yesterday it was different and there were more lights in it. There were more than the usual, like constellation. That's what I'm trying to say. So the constellation that's normally at this time at the, in this angle in the triangle outside on my back porch that I can see, there were more stars in it. And I thought, this, something's up. Is that a mothership? Because I'm like, what's going on here? What kind of, what's going on? You know, I'm always staring at the sky, whether it's the day or the night. I love the sky, the stars, the clouds, all of it. So it was like this. And I just sat and watched a little bit. And just, I always gaze. And it went... And I'm like, hey, 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 hey. So, you know, no substances going on, nothing like that. And I thought, wait a minute. So I, what I do is I lean up against walls or cars or houses or whatever's around to make sure that I'm not, you know, because the stars are, are, you know, blinky. So I just thought, maybe I just dreamed that up. And it did it again. I was leaned up against the house. So I said, oh, hi. And so they let me know that sometimes a regular looking sky could have a divine, you know, starship right there, light ship. And I've been seeing several things lately that are very peculiar. So it seems like something's going on with the uh, meteors. So every once in a while I'll see shooting stars or meteors. And not very long ago I saw one that was just enormous and I was just... It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen anything like this. It was an enormous something on fire. And it was a huge ball of, of fireball in the sky coming. And so I live 15 miles from Sedona proper. And so I thought, oh my God, oh my God, that's going to blow up Sedona. So I saw one coming in, huge ball of fire. You could hear it. I could feel it. I could hear it in the atmosphere. I could feel it and you could hear it and I thought oh my god so somehow that's part of the adjustment in spiritual war I don't I have no idea I didn't even ask but last night I saw the and moved back and then I I asked it to do it again if it was a starship of any kind and so today I saw three uh it's an overcast day with some clouds and I thought Cool. Would it, I, I love the rain and I miss it since I'm in Arizona. I'm not, there's not as much water in the air or rain. So I was out just staring at the clouds a couple of times a day and I saw a ball of light come out of the clouds, move just a little bit and then go back into the clouds. And I'm like, whoa, I think I just saw a UFO. And it wasn't like a plane that had, you know, a little bit of sunshine glimmering off of it. It was moving and it wasn't moving like a plane and it came out and went back in and so i saw that three different times today in different places and spaces of the sky so that's a little bit tricky because if the clouds were moving at all and they were very, it was seemed very slow nothing was moving but it was just one came out of a like a little open hole portal came over over on top of the clouds and then went back and they were just kind of talking to me saying, it's all right, everything's okay. And I thought, that's cool. So that's, there you go, star, star seed experience right there. Skies are, are busy these days. Cosmic circles. 
was the card. And the card is a number three. Create sacred space. Embrace unlimited possibilities. So this is, is what we've been called to do, starseeds and indigos and earth angels, the anointed, the chosen. Whatever you identify with, the light workers, that's you. So to embrace, embrace the unlimited possibilities, the endless, endless possibilities of the highest good and to touch it, the purity of happiness, joy, freedom, joy, richness, wealth, fulfillment, art, creativity, healthiness, happiness. I, I know I'm repeating some of them, but it's just like the purity of any of those things that we all want and we've all been working toward. Endless possibilities in those frequencies for us to create the reality that we want. I'm gonna pull one more. Star connection. So again, I was just talking about different star sightings, UFO sightings that I've had just in the last few days. And of course, I'm in a place very well known for that. So it's not unusual here at all for any of us, any of the locals. But I think all of us will feel that star connection as we connect with our soul star chakra and have our wings and are able to expand in that, our connections in every way. And these higher dimensions, our higher selves, will bring us our star connection and knowing. Our pineal glands are being de-loused from the bindings and the, the disconnect that's been done to them. So I think we will feel like it's almost like a flow, a gentle flow, sparkly flow of reconnection with the stars, our higher selves, our higher dimensions. This is a number two card, Guidance from the Stars, Galactic Self uni Unified Field. So I'm really getting strongly that this, uh, you are safe. And if you would like to ask for the Divine Star Celestial Beings, and I would recommend the asking for the Divine Ones, Pure Divine Light, Pure Divine Love, no agendas, only pure star beings, pure light beings to let you know that they're around, not in a scary way. They won't land in the yard. They won't be creepy because that's not good, but they might show you a flying saucer or a light in different ways or show a star that's moving differently. Just if you want to, that star connection is really good. There are many celestial beings that we don't know the names of, the hierarchy of that are helping us right now. And it's just, they are part of God, just as we are. They are children of God, just as we are. They're just, perhaps just a different type of children of God. And remember, it has been true, it is true that us, we are the image of God, the universe, the light universe. And we are God's children. That's the best way I know how to say it right now, the anointed, the chosen. I don't really love that word, chosen, because we chose to come here and shift this and bring this ascension into being, but it feels like to me that it's just on. We're like on. The light switch is on. And the last thing I'm receiving is that all of the galactics, all of the angels, you know, many people think that or thought that some of those beings were pretend false light beings. Yes, that is true. So we had archons instead of archangels that were pure and fallen angels that were smiling and shiny and beautiful, but that were not good. So these beings are being cleared literally out of our quadrant. And in the future, they're not allowed to communicate, connect with humanity. Those of us who are have chosen the light and rising up. So there are many of them that have been integrated and recycled and not everything's done yet. We've got a lot, a long way to go, but in the spiritual war, these, the angels have been pulled in different directions and integrated the, the darkness that was of the past eras. And that will continue. And welcome home as you spread your angel wings and be your true earth angel selves, your true starseed selves, and recognize and remember who you are fully and completely. Thank you all for the likes and shares and subscribes. Thank you for the comments 
helps so much. And thank you if anyone wants an appointment. The information about my webpage and services are in the box below. Thank you all.